Hello again, this is Quidabble on my free to play Kale account. And today, uh, just giving you an update, This we're down to the last day of a few events and tournaments, and it's getting close. And I don't know if this account's going to make it, so that's why I was making this video give you an update. Um, I still have a lot of artifact enhancement to do, but I've got a day and 17 hours. I don't, uh, this isn't going to be an issue. I should definitely be able to get this. But uh, the champion training event has just been really hard uh, trying to get there. Um, if free to play, you know, it's hard. These are hard things. You have to play a lot and you have to have some resources. And then we have the uh, tournament. So I have today to get, uh, let's see here, 400 points here. And. Uh, it's where it's going to take a lot of gems to finish it off. Um, you can see I've been battling it. Uh, lots of material from that location. Uh, trying to get it in there. Then this does give me a lot of good good uh, equipment. But at the same time, uh, if you miss one of these events, you could miss getting the uh, getting the entire thing. Uh, this is uh, the champion training event, and I need roughly a th couple thousand more for this training event. I'm at almost 1,100, so I need uh, just under 1,800, I think. Um, my main account, I did it. You know, I'm, I've gotten everything I need to get done, uh, but this account, it's just being difficult. Uh, that training so you know I'm upgrading champions and leveling up champions um, all the time this whole thing has been just loading up stuff these are all the uh, um, the champions I'm willing to let go from our last uh, two time shard event these ones I chose to say okay these can go and then these guys these are all keepers so I'm not really wor working on those and then that steps in. I'm trying to have 16. Now these here, I'm trying to have 16 of these. So I have uh, rank four chickens. I've got one uh, real chicken, but I need 16 to uh, level up the the f whatever fragment events I uh, fragment champions I make. I've got to be able to have four level fours for each of them to put them in there so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I still got to make five more take up five of these rank three ch guys and turn them into that so that's going to be some points and I'm just going to have to keep battling at it and uh, we did our clan v clan and as you can see uh, for this uh, brutal clan we uh, we knocked it out uh, we came together as a team. Um, this is my free-to-play account. Did thirty-five thousand. My main account did eighty-two thousand. Uh, the other team um, did good. They did good. They they got their their rewards. They uh, didn't quite make the two hundred thousand mark, but uh, you have these milestone rewards. This was good. A lot of energy came in through it. Uh, shards. Uh, we almost got done with the second one. That would have been a nice epic tome and a rank four chicken. And then, of course, you have your tier two stuff, which uh, pretty much is like a double of tier one, but uh, good good stuff. Um, I don't know if we start off in tier two since we went up on the next level. I don't know exactly how it works. Uh, we'll find out. Um, million eight hundred thousand to get to this location. And we were somewhere around here. So if we go to tier two, depending on how that works, we'll, uh, if we do what we did last time, we'll be right here. Um, but uh, they matched us up. And unfortunately for them, uh, our team was just, just knocking it out of the park. And we got those new um, epic accessories. Those are kind of cool to see. Um, if you don't go first, there's a good one in there that prevents a 25% uh, uh, chance to prevent a critical hit or to change a critical hit into a normal hit. Uh, so that was exciting. 
Uh, just cross your fingers and hope that today I've only got 21 hours in this Ice Golem tournament. i got to get those 400 points. It wouldn't hurt my feelings to get at least that Void Shard. On my main account, i got the Void Shard, and I'm kind of working toward that uh, Epic Tome. But uh, those uh, Void Shards are always good. But uh, you can see that I probably am not going to place with this free-to-play account. And we got the Classic Arena takedown. Um, and then uh, on the event, I've got uh, the artifact enhancement. I've kind of held off on that because I've got other things to do. And when you do a lot of farming for uh, upgrading champions in the campaign, you end up getting a lot of silver for that. So I've been using one event to kind of fuel another event. And again, I would love to get to that, but I'm going uh, I'm going to be lucky. This account is struggling. I'm going to be lucky to make that one. So cross your fingers. I hope I make it. I just want to give you guys an update on uh, on that and let you know that we did good in our Clan v. Clan. Uh, a lot of things going on in, um, in Raid right now. They've really upped it and made lots of new content. Um, just enjoy and enjoying the game itself. And again, I always like to show that uh, there's my free-to-play account. Um, I got some some bronze medals to to play with, but now I'm starting to get back into silver, and I'm going to break into gold hopefully in this with my new builds. Um, my arena team, uh, let's see here. My arena team has been uh, really exciting. A uh, big change in it with Duchess Lolitu, and of course. Um, I already had Valkyrie, but she's booked. Um, this is my team. Try to make a kind of a invisible speed team. Uh, it's not doing bad for me. I've got um, I've got my apothecary up to level 50, so he could be slipped in there. Um, just uh, choices now with those with Duchess Lolitu with that pull. This account got really exciting, and I'm excited about uh, Underpriest Brogni joining this team. Because uh, Valkyrie puts on a shield and he uh, does a lot of shield manipulation. His um, uh, his shield manipulation is what I'm really excited about. Uh, he puts a shield on that can't be removed, and then um, uh, just reflects 25% of the damage inflicted on the shield. So if this shield has, so let's say he's at four, uh, 50,000 HP, and then you come in here and he builds a uh, shield buff equal to 30% of this champion's max HP, so you're looking at 15,000 approximately uh, of a shield, and then this ability would, refl if they wiped out the shield at 15,000, uh, it can heal 25% to the to the to the defending champion and reflect 25%. So about 7,500 damage just for taking down his shield. So definitely um, some exciting uh, abilities on this this champion. 100% uh, chance to remove one random buff from all enemies. Uh, take out a, a increased attack. Um, just lots of nice abilities on this but that 30% shield that cannot be removed and then there's a skill in here that 100% uh, chance increases the value of shield buffs by 30% 30, 30 of the damage inflicted so if you make him uh, an attacking beast if you do push him up he can increase the value of the shields by 30% and then if you can find someone to continuously extend but he puts a shield on and then uh, Valkyrie puts a shield on everybody so this will be a really good combination for this account so cross your fingers I'm hoping to get him um, just gotta keep working at it and and having fun doing it that clan v clan is was fun um, working with the clan mates and working with everybody to, to get our goals done. So thank you for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.